Hi ya, I'm Pimmy and um, I just got something in the mail and I want to uh, show that off. Um, I had ordered this just yesterday so uh, it came here really fast and it's um, uh, some leather sewing um, equipment which is this little bundle um, and I don't know the English names of these uh, one of these thingies pointy bit that you stick um, in the leather and push through and you punch uh, a series of holes and then uh, after that um, uh, you, you make the, the line of holes that you where you want to stitch and then with um, two long very blunt needles you go from opposite sides and um, uh, stitch um, the layers of uh, um, leather together with this kind of um, uh, sewing thread which is about a millimeter thick I think and it's waxed so um, it, uh, it, it doesn't fray during the, the stitching and it stays nice and um, doesn't wear in, in um, being outside and in, in wet and weather um, so that's nice because um, this past January, February, I think, I want to say January, but I'm not sure. I made, um, I, I went to a workshop um, at the museum, uh, a one day workshop making uh, medieval style um, kidney shaped um, uh, 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 pouch, um, bag, thingy and um, that was uh, stitched inside out you wear this on your belt uh, around your waist and um, it's extremely useful to to have something uh, like this to um, wear your your little bits and pieces um, uh, with you also um, uh, to hide your um, uh, modern day uh, flat crystal ball, um, otherwise known as smartphone. Um, and now taking it off the belt, uh, this has um, um, a buckle, and underneath it has two layers of um, uh, leather stitched together and here is the, the opening and you have one um, compartment and the uh, uh, top flap lid thingy words um, going over, uh, over the top is stitched down um, to make the loops uh, to put your belt your belt uh, through and this this stitching goes through and through and you can see it on the back side as well and it secures the uh, belt with the close uh, closing um, uh, to close the, the the whole thing with it's a really simple um, style uh, bag and it has here a nice um, in-between edge uh, of um, leather that I, for uh, the contrast, used the, the inside, the suede side um, at the front. So you get a, a bit of contrast and that's just a... Um, a, a decorative um, edge. 
and all the stitching um, is inside but there's also uh, around the, the opening there's a row of, of stitching to um, strengthen it and the rest is here inside the edges are uh, three layers stitched uh, through and um, you just punch your holes uh, a row of holes uh, through uh, all three layers and then you uh, can uh, stitch with the, the needles going in opposite directions um, and I, I really enjoyed doing that and um, had a great time uh, learning uh, how to um, make this bag and I have a lot of leather uh, in store here and um, that I was given by um, uh, um, a guy putting the upholstery on, on fancy chairs and stuff and these were leftover bits of really nice leather and I also have three kids that would really like um, a bag of their own so um, I bought some uh, uh, some equipment and um, materials and now I'm going to try out uh, uh, making um, a bag for myself and then there's some um, uh, changes I want to make to uh, the pouch I already had the bag I already had which is a, a really nice one that I bought but there's a couple of things I'm not really happy with I might want to take off the uh, fleur de lis because um, well, I'm not French and it's not really appropriate for the period I usually do um, and the other thing I want to change is this loop um, it hangs uh, on my belt by this loop so it um, tips over a bit and it, it wobbles around too much for my liking and I want to um, fold this back and um, secure it to um, the strap that uh, is used for closing and then I have a loop here that um, if, if I put this nice and tight um, I'll have a, a loop here to put my belt through um, and then this will be more comfortable to wear and to use uh, but otherwise it's a, it's a nice bag but I might instead I'm not sure how but I might put two loops here but this is really a lot thicker um, uh, leather than uh, what I have been using and I think that I need different um, equipment to punch through this uh, than through the really uh, soft uh, leather that um, uh, I've done um, because yeah, you can see it's really a couple millimeters thick and it's really it, it doesn't bend it's uh, a really good quality uh, um, uh, you won't wear through this uh, uh, bag and this is a fancy one because apart from uh, the big compartment it also has two uh, little pockets um, one uh, where I keep my um, um, little um, uh, snips the little scissors that I uh, that uh, one of the blacksmith um, made for me and uh, I can use to uh, cut little um, threads it's not really <laughs> extremely useful but um, uh, they're nice and um, I keep my um, uh, fire making cheating equipment in here uh, the matches and um, uh, lighter thingies and um, hairpins and um, um, the 
not happens. Um, uh, veil pins. I'll keep them here. And money usually because, um, well, free kids uh, in the museum, they uh, um, are bound to uh, come uh, asking for ice creams halfway through the, in the afternoon, especially on a warm day. Um, so, uh, uh, yes, I'm, I'm really excited um, to make uh, more bags and um, uh, now I have to go reverse engineer um, a pattern for this style of bag and um, uh, try to put uh, one of these together but the first at least half the work is um, uh, cutting out the uh, leather so uh, that'll be the first job but um, very pleased with this new hobby as if I needed more of those but yeah hope to see you next time bye